welcome to another video walk on the wild side and i'm here in blackpool it's a really nice sunny day today it's uh, a monday bank holiday monday as i'm filming this video i'm here on new south promenade this is like uh, it's actually pretty quiet actually down here not a lot of people come down this part of the promenade most of the tourists that come to blackpool they tend to flock around the the central area between the piers, you know, between this, uh, the, the Pleasure Beach and sort of, well, Talbot Square, the, the North Pier, that sort of thing. That's what most people see. They don't tend to come down here. I mean, I'm just looking behind now. There's hardly anyone here. It's unbelievable. I've, I've almost got the whole promenade to myself. But anyway, this video is really just to answer a few critics, really. You know, there's a few people which really surprises me actually um that say oh you're always focusing on the on the negative side of blackpool and i just wonder whether these people have even watched my channel you know and, and even know what it's about because this channel is meant to show blackpool warts and all i don't work for visit blackpool i don't work for the tourist board or anything like that i show what i show and i think i give a pretty good balance in fact I think the balance is very, very heavily weighed in the positive. I just want to show you something right now, which is a big positive for Blackpool. Check out this view. Now, oh, there's a helicopter flying out there. That's to go into the gas rigs, that. And you know, a lot of people slag off Blackpool. You hear, ah, oh, it's a dump and it's a lot of other things which I won't mention on this video. I'm sure you know what I mean. And a lot of them, of course, don't live here they might not have even been here yet yeah, there's one thing that you cannot you cannot slag off this view just look at that 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 looks epic out there it looks a bit like we've got a bit of a, a rain cloud coming in oh my goodness just look at this beach here come on there is nothing that you can say that is negative about this. Check it out, I'm now on the beach. Just look at this. You know what? It's like being on a desert sometimes, you know. It is because you look out, I'm just looking out now. I'm looking down towards St. Anne's and you know, as you get down towards St. Anne's, you come to the estuary, the Ribble Estuary, and I can see figures right out there in the distance and they are so so far away because when you go down to the estuary you don't even get to see the water because it's so far out it's unbelievable this space is incredible and uh yeah so i had a comment on my last video and i pinned it so you can have a look at it if you want because i always tend to pin comments which i disagree with somebody called cavaster said you're always focusing on the negative side of Blackpool. You're always showing the negative side, which is absolutely ridiculous. You know, I, honestly, I don't know. I think there must be something wrong with these people because, you know, when I started this channel properly in 2020 during the lockdown, that's why I started it. It started by accident. I had a vision, I had an idea for the channel. I wanted to walk around Blackpool and I wanted to kind of show both sides. I wanted to show, you know, the the less well-off side. I started in Foxhall, and of course Foxhall is, it's, uh, yeah, it is a little bit rough in Foxhall. And the idea for the video was, you can watch the video if you want. I think it's a pretty good video. The Main Streets of Blackpool, July 2020. I'll probably put a link to it at the end of this one, actually, so you can watch it. It was the video that set this channel off. So if you watch that video, you get some idea of what I had planned for the channel. So I started off in Foxhall and I ended up the video on the promenade and I actually took a picture of the beach and the sunset. That was the idea for the video, to finish off on like a high and to show the, the beach and to say, well, this is a good part of Blackpool, you know, it's about the promenade and it's about the beach and the sea and all that sort of thing. In fact, really, I should probably do that again, shouldn't I? I should probably get my camera out again and uh, do a video taking a picture with my camera and show you my thought process.
This is Glam Rocks, by the way, here on New South Promenade. It's part of the Great Promenade Show. A lot of the artwork along here is not here anymore. That was originally here. They used to have like a big tank Frankenstein thing. That gone. The high tide organ was one of them. That's gone. So there's quite a few things along here that have disappeared, but we've still got these things here and we've also got the mirror ball as well. Everyone knows the mirror ball, don't they? But anyway, yeah, that's what the channel is all about. It's about showing the real Blackpool. I don't answer to anybody and I'm not going to let anybody in the comments tell me that I shouldn't be showing some of the negative side of Blackpool. And in that video there, the main streets of Blackpool, you get to see, obviously I start off in the rough part of town, we get to see someone kick a door. <laughs> I don't think they were trying to kick the door through, I think they were just trying to get attention. But it just, go, it just gives you some idea that there's not a lot of love for that area with, with, with some people. And that happens quite a lot here in Blackpool. Um, a lot of people don't really seem to appreciate it, you know. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going to stop doing it. And... Uh, you know, they can try all they want, they can say, ah, oh, yeah, you know. And, and that's the thing, is it? It's not just saying you're focusing on the negative side. He said, you always do. Like as if every single video is negative. That's the way that it was worded. You know, I actually counted noisy motorbikes there, the bane <laughs> of my videos. Um, I actually counted about 40 videos that I've done this year, and I reckon only about maybe five or six of them maybe maybe even a quarter maybe ten it at, at a stretch possibly show the negative side of blackpool so i would say that in that case my videos are overwhelmingly not negative so uh, that cavister well go and let him go and let him know what you think And here's another thing as well. I live in Blackpool. I've lived here all my life. I grew up here, so I should know what Blackpool's about. I should be a bit of an expert on Blackpool. I'm not an expert, really, but because I've lived here all my life, I, I know quite a bit about Blackpool. And since I started this channel, I've learned a lot more. But it's because I live here that means that I am actually quite brave to do what I do, to show the other side of Blackpool, whereas... A lot of these other people, you get these people coming to Blackpool and they slag it off, they say, oh, look at the state of this place, it's a right dump, oh my God, look at the state of the place, you know. And they don't live here. I do live here, so I think I'm actually quite brave doing what I do. Now, of course, that's not what I do. I don't work like that. I don't go around Blackpool slagging it off. I tend to just go out, I'll have um, a video in mind, I want to show a particular area, and I'll just leave it up to the viewers to see. I might... Uh, say a few comments along the way central drive something like that for instance is a particularly rough part of blackpool i've shown that quite a few times and uh, people do like to see they like to see the dark side it's the reality they like to see the dark side but for me it's striking a balance between the positive and the negative and uh, if you look back through my videos um, you'll certainly find I know some people probably won't want to admit it, but they will find that most of my videos are positive. Well, there goes the big one on another circuit. And you know, this is one of those things that I tend to show on my channel. I tend to show the annoying things like people leaving poo bags under benches, things like that. That is bloody annoying, that is, you know. Why do people do that? I've got absolutely no idea. You know, I plan to still be here in years to come. I've got, uh, well, I want to still be here in, in a few years anyway, but I've got loads of other stuff to do as well. I've got another channel start, man astronomy channel but some people think that this is all i do but i've got loads of stuff to do you know apart from this but uh, i tell you what it's a bit harder than some people think to come up with videos um not every day but uh, most days anyway i know some of the videos i have done in the past of uh, they can touch a nerve you know and uh, they are a little bit edgy i know that 
And I know not everybody likes them, but you don't have to watch them. Nobody's forcing you to watch my videos. I've had people unsubscribe and they've come on the comments and saying, oh, I wish you'd stop doing this and showing that in a bad light and all that sort of thing. And I'm unsubscribing. Mind you, I have had quite a few that have unsubscribed and then they've come back on again. They, they, can't, they can't leave me alone. They can't get enough of the wild side. I can't help but show you this. Wow. Just look at this. Don't you wish that you were here in Blackpool right now? Okay, I'm going to wrap this video up here on the beach. And uh, what better place than here on Blackpool Beach? Just look at this. Wow. And we've got the weather for it today as well. Uh, now, I don't think I'm going to win any awards for this channel, you know. I'm not looking to win any awards. Uh, that's not what it's all about. You don't win any awards. Well, you do, actually. Some YouTubers do get awards, don't they? And things like that. I know you get a silver plaque. Is it a silver plaque for when you get to 100,000? That'd be nice. 100,000 subscribers. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. But, uh, yeah, like I said before, I think that I need a little bit of recognition for doing what I do because I do show Blackpool warts and all of course and some people have got to realize that just by brushing things under the carpet and thinking oh that doesn't happen there's no problem with alcoholism there's no problem with drugs there's no problem in Blackpool with really run down properties because that is the reality and I show it on this channel and I'm going to keep showing it so there <laughs> you're told anyway i'm going to put a link to the main streets of blackpool it was my first proper video of blackpool my first vlog and uh, go and check it out if you haven't uh i probably look like a rabbit caught in the headlights actually i don't think i did i think i looked all right actually and i was wearing my csi hat as well which uh, i've still got so there you go that's this video uh, that's you told <laughs> <laughs> the haters <laughs> so anyway i'm going to leave it there now if you like the video hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one